as their deadline to get through the backlog of regular unemployment claims. So COIN wants to know, how are they doing? Our Lindsay Nadrich has been following the backlog of claims since the very beginning. Lindsay, what did you find out today? Well, the Oregon Employment Department says out of that initial backlog of 38,000 regular unemployment claims, they were down to just 1,200 as of last night. So they have made a lot of progress, but even after that's done, there's still a lot of work left to do. 97% of the initial backlog of regular unemployment claims have now been processed as part of Project Focus 100. And although it's still hard to get through to anyone on the phone, the Employment Department says it's making progress while continuing to add more phone lines. On May 28th, they answered 524 calls. Yesterday, they answered more than 1,000. Even so, I keep hearing from people who are still waiting. And overall, it's been pretty confusing and difficult you know, in a long wait. Before the pandemic, Robert drove for both Lyft and Uber. He's been trying to get benefits since the first week of April. The bills are definitely tough. I mean, I've had to delay and and try to like with rent and everything else paying, you know, what I can. Robbie Hunt, who's also a Lyft driver, is in the same boat. I've been getting stressed and I don't usually get stressed very easily. But it, more it's the frustration, you know. It's been Both say one day they're told to apply for the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, or PUA. Then the next, they're told they qualify for regular unemployment insurance. It's been so frustrating. Besides the waiting, the, in, the inaccurate information or conflicting information. Uh, I thought I had a straight answer last Friday. And then turns out when I called on Wednesday, I got complete opposite story. And so I don't know what to think, really. It's a cycle they've now been stuck in for months. Well, I reached out again today to try to get to the bottom of this for people like Robbie and Robert. The employment department told me they know this is confusing, but couldn't give me a definitive answer. I was again told they can't discuss specific employers. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Coin 6 News.